Our approach to COVID-19 is, is a multifactorial response with multiple teams working literally 24 hours a day. We have teams that are focusing on vaccine development under Bart Haynes' direction. We have teams that are also developing rapid therapeutics or countermeasures. So we would be using those medical countermeasures to rapidly treat infection and hopefully neutralize this virus or block its ability to infect us. It would just be a short acting uh, maybe 30, 60, 90 days, or it could help to treat individuals that maybe have the infection and reduce the severity of those symptoms, for example, to minimize the impact on our intensive care units. We anticipate that we should be able to have something by the end of the calendar year 2020 that is able to scale out and be deployable through one of our partners for broader distribution. What's really critical that our institute is working on is the actual vaccine, but it's gonna take at least 12, 18 months for a vaccine candidate to be identified, safely studied in phase one and in phase two. We've been training teams of clinicians, healthcare workers, in how to appropriately take on and take off their personal protective equipment. And we've also developed an innovative way of recycling and reusing the N95 respirator masks and we're now processing between 1,000 and 2,000 of these masks through our facility's unique vaporized hydrogen peroxide decontamination chamber. We have the ability to go very rapidly from bench to bedside in that we have the entire arc of research development in-house here at the Duke Health System. We have an enthusiastic team of researchers and faculty who are at the front lines right now of trying to deal with this COVID-19 pandemic.